For a man who has taken the internet by storm, he has shown the mirror to us and to our lives, and he will be giving us his insights into what constitutes life advice. Gorgopal Das, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, doesn't look like you're very happy seeing me. A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, guys, we can do better. A very good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen, at Rising India. Love that, love that. Uh, it's a great privilege, pleasure, and honor to be here this evening at uh, this beautiful conference, Rising India. And my sincerest and heartfelt gratitude to Network 18 for giving me the opportunity to be here. And of course, my sincere gratitude to all of you as well for being here this evening. Now, wherever I travel in the world, Indians are known for certain very peculiar traits. Like, Indians are known to be extremely smart people. Make some noise if you think Indians are smart, guys. There was an Indian doctor. His practice terribly failed here in India. He went to the US to start a clinic. And in the US, he put up a board outside his clinic. Any disease will treat it for $20. And if we can't treat it for you, we'll pay you $100. Pretty smart strategy. One gentleman was walking by, he saw this. He said, this guy's a nut. He says you can treat, he can treat any disease for $20, and if he can't treat it, $100 back. He went to the doctor. Doctor, I've lost my taste. Can you get my taste back, please? The doctor called his assistant and said, get bottle number 22, put two drops on his tongue. The assistant put two drops on his tongue and the guy shouted, this is petrol, doctor. He said, taste back, give me $20. <laughs> the guy was like so frustrated. He went back again a couple of months later. He said, doctor, look, I have a serious problem here. I've lost my memory, doctor. Can you bring my memory back? The doctor said to the assistant, get bottle number 22, put two drops on his tongue. The man said, doctor, that's petrol. He said, memory back, give me $20. This guy was just losing it now. A couple of months later, he once again went to the doctor and said, look, doctor. I'm losing my eyesight. I can't see anything. Can you bring my eyesight back? The doctor said, well, sorry. This is the only one issue that we cannot treat, which is why, as we have promised, we give you a full $100 back. And instead of giving a $100 bill, the doctor gave him a $20 bill. The guy said, doctor, this is $20. Said, eyesight back. Come on, give me $20. <laughs> Oh, uh, jokes apart, jokes apart and forgetting the lighter side of it, we all know that in the rising India, Indians are making a spectacular mark across all spectrums on the international scene. Look at business, because of the acumen. Some of the biggest multinational corporations are headed by people from the Indian origin. Look at entertainment. Natu Natu wins an Oscar, guys. Wins an Oscar, guys. This is our rising India. The elephant whisperer gets an Oscar, guys. That's our rising India. Making a mark, making our presence seen and felt. Look at sports. We just had Nikhat Zareen, Laulina Borgohain. Right. We had Saviti Bura. We had Neetu Gangas. All smashing it at the World Boxing Championship and bringing to this country four gold medals by making India proud on the international scene. This is my rising India. Right. Smart. Wherever I go, people say, yes, Indians are absolutely. My stage is a boring place. I'll walk down, yeah? Wow. It's too lonely there. It's too, I'm not on a panel, I can do whatever I like. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody interviewing me, so I can walk into you, right? Oh, goodness. Smart. Right. Absolutely smart. And I was wondering, what is, it that, what is that one element 
that makes, whether it's business, sports, entertainment, spirituality, governance, leadership, whatever it is, what is it that one thing that makes Indians what they do? And I remembered what Bruce Lee once said. Bruce Lee said, I do not fear the man who knows 10,000 kicks. I fear the man who knows one kick but has practiced it 10,000 times. Right. It is that practice of 10,000 times that makes you reach such a level of excellence that the world doesn't have a choice but to notice it. These ladies and gentlemen, whatever these heroes are doing across the world from this country are the ones who have believed in practicing that one kick 10,000 times. Whether it's a singer, an actor, right, a leader, a corporation head, a sportsman, stuck it out continuously. Work is worship for us. We believe in the principle of karma yoga, where we treat work as our worship. And when we treat our work as our worship, it's not work. For us in this country, it's not just work. It's worship. And when we worship, we don't cut corners. When we worship, we don't give it half our hearts. When we worship, we don't give it a bloody 100%. When we worship, we give it a 200%. And when we give it a 200%, well, guys, the world just doesn't have a choice but to note the real heroes of the rising India. Right. Now, Indians are not just smart in securing things, whether it's money or whatever it else it is. Indians are very smart in sparing things as well. Very sparing, guys. Raise your hand. How do you know an Indian? An Indian is a person who after the shampoo bottle or the shower gel bottle's over, puts water in it. And till the last bubble comes out, won't throw. Raise your hands if you've done it, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Indians, who is an Indian? If you don't use a shower gel and you use a soap bar, Indians are those when the last little thin slice of soap is left, they stick it to the new soap. Raise your hands if you've done that, guys. How do you know who an Indian is? An Indian is a person who, after the toothpaste is over, <laughs> till the last bit comes out, he looks, How do you know? Huh? Cut this. Brilliant, I love that. How do you know who an Indian is? Indian who is a t shirt, he is a t shirt, he is a we are a culture we are a culture who doesn't just secure we save when we talk about a several trillion dollar economy that economy is not made just by securing. That economy is made by saving. And in our country, we don't have any fake things. We don't have a bottle of water and a whole bottle of water. Look at how this culture was. I've always been, for the last 29 years odd, using a handkerchief. I don't use a tissue. I'm not against a tissue. For all practical purposes, even I use a tissue. But tissue kya hai na use and throw. Hai na? Pen kya hai na use and throw. Ghadi kya hai na use and throw. Phir wife or husband bhi use and throw ho jata na? Because it's not just about a thing, it's about a mindset. Now imagine having a handkerchief. You wash it, you iron it, you use it again. You wash it, you iron it, you use it again. Hum fekte nahi hai. Hum fekte nahi hai. We don't have this thing of use and throw. Because we don't have this thing of use and throw, we don't use people, guys. In the modern world, in the modern world, unfortunately and sadly, we live in a world where things are loved and people are used. We should be living in a world where people are loved and things are used. But the thing is that people love 
और लोगों का इस्तेमाल करते हैं उन वस्तुओं को लेने के लिए अ कल्चर वेयर आई डेंट यूज टफ मैंने निभाया है मेरे रुमाल के साथ मैंने रिश्ता निभाया है डू यू नो दिस यू हैव अ रिलेशनशिप विथ योर लिटिल हैंक चिफ डिड यू नो दैट दिस इज अ रिलेशनशिप ये रिश्ता है क्योंकि इसको आप रोज सही तरीके से इसकी देखभाल करके इसके साथ आपका एक रिश्ता है और ये रिश्ता निभा रहे हैं जो एक अपने कपड़े के साथ रिश्ता निभा सकता है वो इंसान के साथ कैसे नहीं निभाएगा ये रिश्ता मैं उस संस्कृति से आता हूं मैं उस कल्चर से आता हूं हम सब उस संस्कृति से आते हैं जो रिश्ता निभाना जानते हैं एंड ऑन अ पर्सनल लेवल वी डू दैट टू राइट ऑन अ पर्सनल लेवल हम रिश्ते निभाते हैं रिश्ते निभाते हैं we want to make friendships because when you want to rise in your life you can't rise alone there's a beautiful proverb which says if you want to walk fast walk alone but if you want to walk far walk together if you want to walk fast and speed up alone is the way to go if you want to walk far and go on keep on going sustainably together is the way and friendships connections camaraderie relationships are of absolute vital इंपॉर्टेंस राइट और इसीलिए रिश्ते निभाना दोस्तियां कितनी जरूर होती है कितनी जरूरी होती है मैं कई बार कहता हूं छोटे से दिल में गम बहुत है छोटे से दिल में गम बहुत है जिंदगी ने दिए जख्म बहुत है छोटे से दिल में गम बहुत है जिंदगी ने दिए जख्म बहुत है कब की मार डालती है जालिम दुनिया हमें कम दोस्तों की दुआओं में दम बहुत है right you know that's how we have risen that's exactly how we have risen when we were alone there was somebody to pick us up life is like a seesaw when you are down somebody has to pull you up and they are now new to pull it up and that's not just for individuals guys that's true for us as a nation as well we're not going to rise alone we will be rising together we believed always in the principle of vasudhaiva kutumbakam that we are not just in one element we are proud to be indians we are proud to be a rising india we are proud to be a bharat but we are a part of a global family which is vasudhaiv kutumbakam sara vishwa hamara parivar hai aur jab tak hum ye dostiyan nahi nibhayenge to un sare heroes ke liye applause jo ye dostiyan nibhane ke liye aage aaye hain right it's so amazing to have that and then main kai baar kehta hu whether it's personal or national or professional relationships झुकने से अगर आपके रिश्ते सुधर जाते हो तो झुक जाओ झुकने से अगर आपके रिश्ते सुधर जाते हो तो झुक जाओ लेकिन बार बार अगर आपको ये झुकना पड़े तो रुक जाओ रुक जाओ ये झुकना 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 करके ना यूज करते हैं लोग हमें और हम सबको एंड विच इज प्रिसाइसली वाई हम किसी पर उंगली नहीं उठाएंगे लेकिन कोई अगर हम पर उंगली उठाए ना उंगली उंगली उठाने नहीं देंगे आउट देर एट द बॉर्डर आर आर रियल हीरो जिनकी वजह से हम यहां बैठ के ना कॉन्फ्रेंस में मजे ले रहे हैं राइट वो रियल हीरो भारत के राइजिंग इंडिया के जिनकी वजह से हम उंगली कोई उठा नहीं पा रहा है और उनके परिवार की चिट्ठी आती है ना संदेश से आते हमें तड़पाते हैं सुना क्या बात है गीता का श्लोक पूछू थैंक यू वेरी मच लुक एट द फैमिलीज ऑफ दोज डोंट यू थिंक गाइज द फैमिलीज ऑफ आर डिफेंस फोर्सेस आर द रियल हीरोज ऑफ राइजिंग इंडिया हु मेक ऑल दीज सेक्रीफाइस सो वी कैन रिमेन सेफ इन दिस कंट्री सो क्रूश सो इंपॉर्टेंट smart in securing smart in sparing and saving but india is also smart in spending we are spending a hell of a lot of money imagine if all that money that's going all over the place if the same quality standards stuff was made here and that money stayed in this country imagine if all the money was spent on products stuff services offerings here imagine what happens to the economy 
we can talk we can have conferences we can do all of that stuff and still buy a brand which is not indian and when we buy a brand which is i, I too am wearing one sorry <laughs> and when we buy something like that hum log bahut kharche karte hain dosto aur main kai baar kehta hu we live in a civilization where people spend the money they don't have to buy the things that they don't need to impress the people whom they anyways don't like what a pathetic lifestyle that is we are great at spending but that's not what makes us us ladies and gentlemen smart and securing smart and saving smart and spending but there's one thing that except that is exceptionally amazing for the india that we have seen for the india that it is today and for the india that we will see as the rising india in the future sanskrit is an amazing language and in sanskrit even strong words sound soft like if you were to call somebody a donkey you say vaishakhanandan <laughs> kisi ko bol ke dekhi hey vaishakhanandan usko lage aap us par kavita ki rachna kar rahe hain seriously don't try it on anybody sitting here sabne suna hai but before tonight try it on somebody going out he's going to feel flattered if you say why shakarandan but how do you say what an ice cream is in sanskrit an ice cream is called in sanskrit dugdha sharkara yukta ghana gola gattu if you were to say mango ice cream you would say amra dugdha sharkara yukta ghana gola gattu my god by the time you order it it will melt away <laughs> but there's a philosophy behind the ice cream and the philosophy of the hindi ice cream is enjoy it before it melts life is going to melt away enjoy your life before it melts all right <laughs> but then there is a contrast to that and the contrast is a candle candle melts as well and the philosophy behind the candle is give light to others before it melts candle melts ice cream melts ice cream is about me candle is about you we cannot remain an ice cream just living a narcissistic life we cannot become a candle completely selfless we should be those who use the oxygen mask on a plane because when our mask is in place we can secure the mask and put the mask on somebody else's face right and therefore the last aspect of this rising india is the fourth s which is service we have always believed in service in making a difference in making a contribution small or big and today we celebrate this real heroes here small time apparently people somebody who was a rickshaw driver who made nine schools for kids somebody who was in kerala started educating the tribals somebody who broke the mountain down to bring water in all of these unknown people who believed in the principle of making a difference and that is the rising india kisi ki muskura hato pe ho nisar kisi ka dard le sake to le udhar kisi ke vaaste ho tere dil mein pyar jeena isi ka naam hai and this is what these real heroes have shown and if we believe in the principle of sticking it out and securing if we believe in the principle of saving and maintaining and being sparing if we believe in the principle of spending so that we grow and if we believe in the principle of serving right. and making a difference in our own way yes india is rising and india will rise i wish to thank Ladies you all very very much let's have a round of applause thank for gor gopal das thank you very thank you very much